Contoso provides custom audio and video equipment to companies across the country. Each sale also requires installation services. Timeliness is important when setting up projects so that all material and labor expenses can be allocated, recorded, and invoiced. Contoso now uses Microsoft Dynamics SL business management software to meet those needs. Microsoft Dynamics SL offers a rich set of project accounting, inventory, and order management capabilities. Prakash is a project manager at Contoso. Prakash tells Susan in sales that there is too long a delay between the time when an order is placed and when a project manager sets up a project. This causes delays in assigning resources and scheduling installations and possibly fails to meet customer expectations. The delay also can result in missed revenue when time spent is not recorded because the project has not been set up. Susan and Prakash agree that once the order is placed, the project should be created as soon as possible. Susan opens the Microsoft Dynamics SL Sales Order Entry screen and selects Create a Project to automate the creation of a new project. Selecting the Create Project option instructs Microsoft Dynamics SL to use the project template for this specific type of order. The sales order being entered is for video monitors. Initially, the order displays the template project, but once it's saved, the project field populates with the next available project ID. Prakash and Susan's time delay issue has been alleviated. The project is now immediately available to help Prakash's team fulfill the customer's order. Project templates are defined and connected to order type functionality that specifies the unique steps needed to fulfill each type of order. Prakash can configure the Microsoft Dynamics SL project templates with automated workflows to reduce the steps his team has to take to fulfill a customer's order. And, by using template projects, new projects can be created automatically from the sales order entry screen, reducing manual effort and errors. Prakash later speaks with Alicia in purchasing and discusses an inventory issue he's experiencing. He notes that, oftentimes, the items he has ordered for a project are taken for other projects or orders. For example, in sourcing materials for past customer projects, he has purchased speakers, video monitors, and cabling. After the items were received, however, they were used by other team members for other customer orders before he had a chance to allocate them. It is important to Prakash that he not only can see the commitments, but also make sure others don't use his purchased items for other purposes. The purchasing feature, Goods for Project Inventory, allocates the items and their cost to a project. By entering a specific project and task, the items are committed only to that project. Once the items are received, they are designated as inventory items intended only to fill orders for the specified project. The quantity of each item allocated to a project can be viewed through the inventory screen, as can the activities taken on items. When the items are received, they remain committed until they are used by the project. The sales order automatically pulls the allocated inventory, using what is available to the project, and creates the shipment showing that the goods have been delivered to the project. It also creates the associated customer billing and or transaction charges on the customer's invoice. By using goods for project inventory, Prakash has a lot more control over his materials. He can ensure that customers receive the agreed upon items, that items are available and delivered on time, 
and that the customer is invoiced for goods in a timely manner. But what about when changes inevitably happen? For example, a last-minute change in the project now requires additional stock that is not available in inventory for this project. Susan notices that the amount on the sales order is more than was originally on the purchase order and knows that this will cause a delay. Susan opens the Project Inquiry Allocation screen. The screen shows the inventory amounts allocated to all projects. Since Contoso tries to keep stock of these particular items to a minimum, Susan wants to check with other project managers to see if they have any unused items she can use for her client. She uses the Export Grid to Excel feature to send the inventory list to the project managers and ask about spare inventory. She hears back that another project has four spare video monitors available. She first unallocates the inventory from its current project and then allocates it to Prakash's project. The sales order amount has been fulfilled and the project continues with no delays in equipment delivery. In the past, bills for goods and invoices for labor were delivered as separate documents, and that sometimes confused customers, who expected one consolidated bill. This also made it hard to do milestone billings. A setting in the Microsoft Dynamics SL Project Maintenance screen makes billing all items in one invoice possible. The project invoice screen now includes ordered items such as video monitors and the labor associated with installing them. Now, when an invoice is generated, it can display parts and labor expenses together, helping Contoso to communicate costs to customers in a simple and predictable way. The project and distribution features of Microsoft Dynamics SL can help businesses meet their customers' ever-changing inventory and invoicing needs to deliver high customer satisfaction. Thanks for watching. For more information, please contact your Microsoft representative.